option. Okay. 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 Now, please reshare again your screen and let's continue our exercise. Okay, here I was asking you to convert Marshall status from string uh, to boolean. Okay, you convert it correctly, but the problem is here the variable name you chose uh, is not like, uh, it's not the best. You can improve by giving a, uh, yeah, a, a proper variable name. Yes, exactly. Like, is married. Like, as I told you last session, deal with Boolean variables as if it's yes or no question. So the variable name should be somehow a question type. Like, is married, uh, is employed, is a student, uh, whatever. Okay. It should be a, a question type. And the answer is yes or no. Great. Let's move on to the next one. The last one is phone number. You made it double and you gave it a value of integral number. But I want to ask you a question. Uh, what kind of operations we can do on phone number? Like, uh, is it like, is it able to be added to another phone number? Like, can we no. make add addition or subtraction or multiplication to a phone number? Oh, yeah. I don't yeah. think so. Like, it will, it will not make any sense. So, we can deal with it as if it's a string. Just for the dis storage and display purpose. Yeah, so we can make the phone number as a string. Okay, great. Let's uh, scroll down to see our tax calculation. Here, tax again, you made it a string, which is not correct. So please make the same enhancement for the tax variable. It will be best. Okay, what, what, what is the use of this percentage? 10%. Like, we don't really need it. Okay. Now on line number 33, you made income slash tax, income over tax. You made it a string. I don't know why. Like, try running your program, comment first, or, like, correct, no, like, you have an error, like, you changed the variable name of Marshall status up, and you didn't correct it down. So, make this is married. Okay. Is married, and try running your program, and let's see the result. Ah. 
he displayed income over tax. We don't need this. We need a result, a number. Oh, the quotes yeah, it should be it should be in quotes. I don't know why you put the quotes. Now you use the variable income over the variable tax, and it's totally correct. It's not giving you any error. Now, if you run your program again, yes, here we got uh, a value, which is correct. Now, I want you to make another operation, which is a little bit similar to what we did now. Uh, since we have the date of birth, okay, I want you to calculate the age the current age. Okay. So you will create a variable, okay, uh, to store the current year, okay, and then calculate age. Uh, of course, display the age. Like up here we have date of birth, right? Yeah. Okay, create a variable to store current year. After that, yeah. you should calculate age. Am I doing this okay? Sorry? Am I doing this okay? Our new age, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. You wanted me to add them together, right? Now, now, now you have. You... I want you now to calculate your age or calculate age for this data. No, you should calculate. Like we have the date of birth, which is 1989. Mm -hmm. And currently we are in 2022. Please calculate the age. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I want to know the difference between current DOB and DOB. What is the difference? I already have date of birth up there. This current DOB should be current year. Current year. Mathematically, how we're gonna calculate the age of someone? Forget about programming and tell me mathematically how we're gonna calculate the age. Thank you, Elaine. Um, this is in 2022 minus six. Uh, and where did you get nineteen eighty nine? Oh no, <laughs> it's a it's so different. Just delete this 35 and delete the line number 35. Like, what is the use of current DOB? I don't know. A new variable. Why, why don't you make it current year? Okay. Here. What is the date today, bro? Bro, what is the date for today? Twenty twenty two. Okay, 2022. So why current year is 1960? <laughs> you have this time machine? 
Also ist mein Heiter. Okay, this is the date of birth. Now I'm talking about current year. Like from the name current year, it should be 2022. Okay, now we want to calculate the age. Like we have something called current year and we have another one called date of birth. So how we're we gonna calculate the age? Um, basically, just focus, you will find it easy. Don't worry. Like, here we have a variable called current year and storing twenty twenty two. And we have another variable called DOB storing 1960, which is date of birth. Now we want to calculate the age. What we're going to do? What is this 1960 doing? We have current year and we have date of birth. What we're going to do to calculate age? Uh, is that okay? Completely mathematical. Is the 1960 okay? No. Like, just forget about programming, okay? And think about it mathematically, a mathematical operation. How we're going to calculate the age? Minus. Okay, it's uh, correct, but we can make some enhancement. Because when I read current year minus new age, like it has no meaning, it's very confusing. But if I read current year minus date of birth, it will be very meaningful. And why we need new DOB? We already have another DOB. Like we already have a DOB. Why we need a new one? This is it. Okay. Okay, it will give you an error. Why we even need this variable? Why we need it? Why don't we use the DOB which is already exist up here? Yeah. Why don't we use it? Yes, here we have int DOB equal 1960. So why we have to create a new one? Mm -hmm. Please just tell me why we have to create this one. We already have another one. What is the need of this one? Yeah, I don't know. Don't we have here integral DOB equal nine nineteen sixty? Yeah. Why we create a new one again with the same value nineteen sixty? What is the use of it? It has no yeah. use. It has no use. It's useless. Oh. 
phone can still be in. So here, what we're going to do for this useless variable? Um, we will delete it. Just delete it all, bro. Delete it all, because we don't need it. Okay. Here, on line number 37, we have current year minus, minus date of birth. Yeah, DOB. We already have the DOB. What is the use of another DOB in the same program? What is the use? Has no use. That's what I was trying to tell you. Now run your program. I think it's gonna work correctly. Okay, 62. If you calculate it from 1960 to 2022, it will be 60. Great. Okay, man. Good job for today. Keep it up, bro. Okay. Yeah, but, and yeah. you are doing really better. Okay. It's really good. Good job. Thank you. Do you have a homework? Uh, I don't think homework is a good idea. I don't want to pressure on you, especially because we are taking a daily training now. So, no, have, uh, have some fun. Okay. And let's meet again and have some practice again. Uh, in tomorrow's uh, session. Okay. Good job, bro. If you have any question, please ask me. Okay, sir. What is this? You don't have any question? Um, no, I'm good right now. Um. I think I'm good. Uh, yeah, no, why would not the uh, thing move? Uh... If you have a question, please write it here and I will answer it. No, string will not calculate, because a string is only used to store text, okay? It's not used to store numbers. You can put values, number values, inside the string, but it will be treated as a text, not as a number. The same as we did in my address, you used 506, but which is uh, treated as a text because it's inside the string. Also down here, we used the data type string for phone number. Phone number value consists of digits, but still our machine or our program will deal with it as a string or as a text because it's stored in a string. So we cannot make any calculation on a string value. Okay, but if we need some calculation, we can use uh, data types used to store numbers, integer number or decimal number. Okay, and uh, in next session, I will recap all the information we have learned about variables. I will try to recap all this uh, tomorrow for you. What else? If you have any question, please send it to me now.
Ah, yeah, I hope so. Because <laughs> I'm hearing you very, like, uh, it's very difficult for me to hear you. Right? Buying a mic will be a good idea, of course. So, yeah, if you don't have any other question, we can end up the session and see you tomorrow. Okay? okay. Have a good day. See you, bro. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.